Folks in Ketchikan this weekend turned up to assist in a community-wide cleanup. And that's where we'll begin today's trip around Alaska. These photos from the Ketchikan Police Department show the community coming together, all for a good cause of cleaning up their town. One comment posted said, such a great turnout, would love to see more opportunities for this in other areas. The Tanana Valley Firefighters Association are passing along an important opportunity for free training in pipeline security for rural communities. While the training will take place in April, the deadline to sign up is in March. In Fort Greeley, the grand opening of Caribou Cafe and Chinook Winds Bar and Grill at the Aurora Community Activity Center was a huge success. The ceremony marks years of hard work in the making and they've made this dream a reality. ICE meeting ingenuity at the 58th annual ICE Arch engineered by the University of Alaska Fairbanks College of Engineering and Mine students. The Arch tradition goes all the way back to the 60s. Constructions have historically been built block by block, sprayed on ice, constructed like stone arches, packed snow, or by freezing layers of water poured into a form. And finally, Kids at Fort Wainwright are able to practice their reading skills by reading to dogs. Dogs don't judge and they also don't laugh if you make a mistake. And petting a dog can help calm a nervous reader. American Red Cross of Alaska therapy dog Thea enjoyed stories read by all the kids. And that wraps up this trip around Alaska.